Hello, hello, my paper peeps. Welcome back to my channel. Today, it's all about creating that secret mini scrapbook album slash pocket that I spoke about in my previous video that you can slip into your scrapbooks, your journals, or your day timers. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christine, and we're in a series called The Sage Collection. It's a crafting journey of how to put together the most memorable, interactive scrapbook daytimer journal for the year. One you'll actually enjoy and complete. If you're interested in this intentional scrapbooking journaling setup, then stay till the very end where you will find links that correspond to this video that will help you pull it all together. So let's get crafting. Now, before you embark on creating a mini album insert for your journal, make sure you have accommodated for this extra bulk. This album is about a quarter of an inch to half an inch in thickness. Lucky for me, this journal came with these oddly placed perforated brown, but beautiful, terrible pages. I'm going to remove them from this album and then use them later on. If you don't have that option, just remove some pages from your journal. Trust me, you won't miss them. This mini album is way cooler. So the first thing you want to do is grab two 12 by 12 double sided sheets of paper and then cut it down by 10 inches and 9 inches on the other side. Then we're going to score it at four and a half inches. So you have two pages that look identical. And this is where the fun part comes in. You actually have to flip them around and sandwich them together. Now I have to give credit where credit is due. I got this idea from Strawberries. She's amazing with like one page projects, but she showed me how to make this mini album out of two sheets of paper and I find her phenomenal. So you continue with this and you can have multiple pockets in this album, but because we're actually placing it in a book, we're going to be lacking some pockets. So what I'm going to do is just position it just like this, and then it's going to fit directly in the back part of the album. Because we're adhering it to the journal, we will be missing some of the pockets that it normally has. And I like inside pockets, so what I'm going to do is just cut a little tab here, and that will be my inside pocket. And then let's just glue this bad boy in. Now, usually we'd keep this one left side open so that you actually have a pocket, but because it's in the book, I'm not going to uh, keep that open. Mind you, with that being said, after I completed this project, um, I realized we were going to use Velcro so that you could remove this little secret mini album. And so yeah, you could have actually had a pocket in the back there. Now, the next thing I like to do is add a few more pages to the album and what you can do here is use either vellum or another sheet of paper and for this insert i'm going to cut it at five and a half inches by nine inches and then score it at a quarter of an inch now when you adhere this to the inside of your little mini album you want to adhere it to the left page and then have that score line sitting on the score of the album there. And I like to use double-sided tape. Then you make sure it stays. Make a mistake here because you can't remove it. That's what I'm always thinking when I'm permanently adhering something to my albums. I'm like, oh boy, if I screw up, then we're done. <laughs> then I have to start all over again. So again, those are those pages I was talking about. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but let's just leave them there. What I like to do after I've completed putting together and assembling my mini album is I like to ink the edges. Then, and then you can temporarily add these frames. They had a bit of a pinkish hue to it, so I thought I'm gonna try inking it. And I let it sit for a bit because it's it's got this epoxy plastic coating on top, so I didn't think that the ink would actually stay, but 
I left it for a bit and yeah, it actually stayed. So throw that in there. And then what you do is you just decorate according to your album. I pretty much use the same designs as I did throughout the journal. So I didn't stray from that. And I'll most likely do more um, than what I did here, but this just gives you a framework of how to make a little mini album insert that you can put into your albums. Now, the one thing I found with this little mini album is that I didn't think about the closure that I was making. I completely forgot that I was going to completely adhere it to the back of the book. And so this is our dilemma. I actually can't adhere it to the back of the book. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to keep the closure because I can't change it anymore, but I will use a Velcro so that you can easily remove it if you want to. And if you liked this video, make sure you stamp the like button so it can spread to the rest of our crafting community. Thank you. If you want to know how to set up your scrapbook journal for the year using stamps or ephemera, then you'll want to see these next two videos because they actually give you a formula of how to set all this up. A lot of people get overwhelmed when they think, oh my gosh, I have to set up a journal. I don't know how to do it. I want it to be cohesive. I want it to look the same or I don't want it to be a jumble of stuff. And there are some people that, that are like that, namely me. <laughs> If you're interested in this, then make sure you watch the next videos coming up because those will give you the formula, the techniques that you need to craft a very intentional type of scrapbook journal that you could have minimal stuff set off to the side and you can do throughout the year without pulling out everything. But yeah, go ahead and watch those. I really hope you liked this video. So take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.